is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Your order is confirmed. Who the fuck? Who gave her money for that? What in the world? TikTok shop. Your order is confirmed. Estimated delivery, December 14th to the 21st. Where does she get it sent to? Xavier's house? Who is this for? Is this for, like, the daughter? I don't... I'm just so aggravated right now. Thank you to everyone who comes in at the last minute to help out in any way. Just in time for Christmas. Well, that's sweet. That's so sweet that people are handing you money so you can, you know, go do whatever you want with it. Whenever us real moms out here busting our freaking butts to make shit happen. Oh, my gosh. And you get to get off, Heather. You haven't, you're homeless. You don't have a job. You're mentally unstable. You only have to do a gift or two if you want to do. Like, girl, you better stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's like it's like I'm glad if the girls get the jackets but I don't understand it's like there's people still out there who either don't care and they want to help her or I don't know all I got to say is all these people who's helping her I hope y'all have lots of money like for y'all to be giving out y'all's hard earned money to her I hope they're just at least evil lit out it's like a piece of their piece of shit or something not that I'm calling people who help Heather a piece of shit. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying this was ridiculous. This was unnecessary. This is not a hotel room because you're cold and pregnant type shit. No. It's a, a shopping on TikTok. Oh, this is a great picture. I love this. You look so beautiful. 5 a.m., 29 weeks pregnant. Heather Gillespie. Just more of the exact same um, type of garbage that they unrealistically and uncreatively continue to curate. All of our waterproof belongings are soaked. Um, I am in my third trimester of pregnancy, and I now have a rash all over my breast, my tummy. Um, I am supposed to be inside, not outside in a fucking puddle of bacteria and rainwater. Uh, my children's dog passed away last night, so it's going on the seven months since I've spoken with my youngest. She looks like a hot mess. Okay, not that that felt weird. That sounded weird. She looks like a mess. <laughs> she she a whole mess. Look at her. What do you mean, look at her? I already brushed my hair twice. And this twice. <laughs> I already brushed my hair twice. How? When? Like twice is when? Okay, look. I tried to catch her alive. I was like, oh, but then I had to get ready for church. I was like, I had to put my phone aside because husband work nights. I'm trying to let him sleep, so I got to be quiet. But now I'm getting ready for church, and I'm letting my kids get ready for church. So I wasn't able to actually watch the live, but I did hear her say something like about a, I guess a homeless guy came in and she was like, sir, sir, what, what shoes, what size shoes do you wear? And let me tell you how mad, um, how mad that made me only because, and I'm just bringing this up just in case I forget or whatever. That made me so mad because that, that guy is homeless and I'm sure he doesn't have everything that Heather gets to have. And I'm sure he doesn't have a, you know, a live feeds that he's on almost every day and getting donations and all this support and all this shit. So for Heather to say, what size shoes do you wear? That poor man's heart probably skipped a beat. He probably actually thought he was going to get shoes for a fucking minute. I, she should have gave him Xavier shoes. That made me so mad. If you're going to say something like that to someone, don't do that shit. Look at them. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing unless you have something. And then she wants to act like she's someone. And I don't know who's outside by my door. But she was like, uh, then she like turned and looked at her phone like, we need to get these man some shoes. Like, you are no one special. I don't know who you, like these fucking motherfuckers, they think that they're fucking heroes. He does need some shoes, but you shouldn't have said anything to get his hopes up unless you were going to give him some fucking shoes right then and there. Okay, let's start the video. I'm sorry. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. Still look, so it's a fucked up morning. Um, as you guys know, um, we have still been ignored. to the world and then you think about how your career 
currently being treated. I commonly think of karma, right? So I've been going back, this is for four years and counting, till the day I can very first remember having a memory, trying to come up with what reason on earth, hell or heaven there could be, that I would be treated this way. When we think about the United States from a perspective of law enforcement and the criminal justice system, if someone murders someone, takes... Okay, stop. Okay. I'm not trying not to interrupt so much, but okay. But why don't you ever think about why did this happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of stuff that happens to us that we can't change or stop or fix or whatever. But that's all, that's really what you need to do, Heather, is realize when did all this start happening? Okay, what's the common denominator? Like, common denominator. Why? Why did this happen? You, you, like, I don't understand. Her logic is like, I don't understand why people could do this to me. Okay, let's narrow this down. What are you talking about specifically? Do what to you? You know what I'm saying? It was, there's so many reasons why stuff happens. There's a fucking reason everything happens, you know? And some of the stuff, unfortunately, you have no idea. But most of the time, it's the people that you hang around, you know? It's another human life. What happens to them? What happens to them, Xavier? You want to say hi? Okay, this was really uncomfortable. Oh, my kids are so loud. This was really uncomfortable because uh, I could feel Xavier was very uncomfortable. And then I was like... <laughs> Having my coffee pot coffee, and I said, Look at these bitches that fucking they got some fucking Starbucks. I wonder if it's just water though, because it's like in a hot cup, but she has a straw. Like, you are not really supposed to drink hot things out of a straw, but anyways, I'm sure they ate and everything. Yeah, they did. They have wrappers. Okay, anyways, go to jail, right? And in jail, do they sleep outside in 30 degree weather? Clothing and dry blankets. I guess. I don't know what my living room. Are they fed three meals a day or at least two? He's like, I don't know, man. Why are you fucking asking me this shit? Like, I can't. I hate it whenever she does that to him. Like, stop putting him on the spot. And then she like asks questions, but it it's like she kind of gives him the answer. Like, she asks him a question, but she tells him the answer pretty much. Like, what she wants her answer to fucking be. So it's like, do her commands to show. She's right. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, he gets my nerves, but I feel so bad for him. Do they have access to phone calls and family members and loved ones? So, when we think about... He's about to go off. He's about to be like, bitch, I ain't the one who was in fucking prison. Go ask your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> he gonna snap one day, I'm telling y'all. This is gonna turn. This is why I feel like it's such a lifetime movie is because it's already crazy. And it's, I feel like, I mean, God, I hope not. But, I mean, oh my gosh. Only one or two things could really happen. Right? And, and I know for a fact I'm not a murderer. <laughs> I know for a fact. And when we think about these things. Oh, wait. Fuck you, bitch, as you are. Fuck you, whore. I, see, I try to block this shit out of my head. It's Sunday. Come on. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I should not have said that. But I am still angry, and I do consider her a murderer. Anyways, next. Yes. And then we think about the quality of life that we provide oh, to these people. Why? I've been a tax-paying citizen since I was 14 years old. I don't know what's going on with my hair, you guys. It's terrible. Uh, I've been a tax-paying citizen since I was 14 years old. I don't know how she was a taxpaying citizen whenever she was 14 years old, whenever she was like in a, what, what did she say, a third world country or whatever. She was in school over there for like a whole year. So then you would be 15 if you came back, if I'm correct. And I don't know, whatever. So much of the the school and then bouncing back to foster cares and then um, juvenile detentions. And I hate to say it, because you had a bad past, but most, I had a bad, like, I had, my childhood wasn't that great, but I 
turned out pretty darn good, I think. So you can't really blame stuff on the past. You just sometimes you have to work a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone has to take a different road. When some people will have it so easy peasy whenever they're growing up and it's like the perfect life and then something happens whenever they're older. So everyone's going to be different at different times. Like, <sighs> 14, one, four. That's so young that you need a work permit to get a job. 14 years old. I remember going to the dean's office at York High School and telling them I had a job at Roberto's Pizzeria. Okay, so that is most definitely, I can guarantee, in the United States. And you were 14. I need a calendar. I need a map. I need some dates. I need some paperwork. You have a lot of paperwork. Let me see. Can I see some paperwork, please? And then I needed a work permit so I could start working. 14 years old. And I pretty much can consistently uh, continued in that in that direction my entire life um, until I learned how to go into business for myself. And I began selling products, time, consultation services, uh, website production, ad copy, etc. and so forth. I've paid more taxes than most people. What? I've used more public aid than my family, but not more people, not than most people. Than most people, yeah, not even close. There are people who have homes paid for by Section Eight and multiple children, and their only income is food stamps, and they live comfortably indoors. Right? Yeah, that's kind of like how you are, though. But you're comfortably outdoors in a tent. Okay, and let's be clear. Let me go ahead and say this because I was talking to someone and she was like, you should mention it. And so I want to mention it again. This is pretty much sums Heather up, okay? Within maybe a week, I've had at least three people tell me whether it was on here or they individually told me, like, hey, I reached out to Heather and, like, one was like for a couple weeks, one was for a month, I forgot what the other one was, but it was pretty much for like around the holidays, so she wouldn't be sleeping outside around the holidays, and plus it's so f cold outside, and they, but the only thing was they was going to pay, it was, they even said, one person even said, Heather, you can pick the hotel, and then I will call the hotel, and I'll pay for their rooms, and she, no, that wasn't gonna, she wanted, she wanted cash, that's what it was, next person same thing almost a month bro like paying for a hotel for you for almost a month let's fit you know no money they didn't all they said was i'm not sending you cash i will pay for a hotel room for this long it wasn't for a day or two days or three days or even four days this bitch had like a couple weeks she had a month and no, like that, that should tell y'all and the people who just spent y'all's money on those jackets. I'm sorry at this point, I don't even care if it's for the kids or not. Because I think the kids are covered. Um, y'all are really enabling Heather and it's really honestly aggravating me because she's pregnant and people are, that pulls on people's heartstrings, even though people are going through stuff on their own. It's Christmas right now. Everyone's stressing during Christmas. Most people have, you know, family to buy for. And some people get really touched by that. And they don't want Heather outside, especially because she is pregnant. And that's all. And for her to deny hotel rooms, like... That is so weird to me, and that should tell everybody the type of person Heather is. So please be careful, and I think that's awesome, and it's very sweet and kind of anyone to offer a hotel room for her, because I understand that. Like, I under she makes me so mad. She really does, but I understand that. Like, whenever you have a heart, you have a heart. People can get mad at you all you want.
want, but that's what you need. Like, we need more people with hearts. You know what I'm saying? No, not being a doormat, but being understanding and actually having a heart. You have to be a good person. And they live comfortably indoors without being rained on. The government subsidizes their electricity and gas. But I'm standing here today. But I... as well as with the DOJ, as well as with the DA. Should I go on? What are they trying to tell me? That the only option for me that my career as modeling... career as in, in modeling and a healthcare administration and all of these other things. She was getting so annoyed someone was interrupting her. I wonder if this is whenever the homeless guy came in. I don't really think it's appropriate to play inside a Starbucks. What? If it wasn't raining, then maybe outside, but inside of the Starbucks, I don't I don't think they'll like it. And we don't want to piss them off because we're homeless, so we're trying to out here for a while you know what i mean so what is it a guy wanting to play with xavier in starbucks and heather saying no no playing because they're gonna kick you out we're homeless we need to be inside i'm so confused not inside i need to do this but we don't want you to do it inside he said i need to we don't want to get in trouble because then we're listen are you listening we're gonna have to go outside in the rain if they kick us out. So we don't want to turn that on. If you start playing and they get mad, then, then we might have to go outside and we can't go outside right now. Yeah, um, um, you know what I mean? Thank you. So my question to you guys is if they're housing murderers and killers and robbers and they're giving them more access to resources than us, what? As she's sitting here, like, screaming at her phone on a live about this shit. What has become of the world? What I resolutions can you offer? What advice could you give? Let me know in the comments below if you have any productive conversation to engage in. He's not crazy. He's wearing a very expensive backpack. He's wearing a very expensive coat. His entire outfit is clean and expensive. Pay attention. Pay attention. That don't mean nothing. You're being stereotypical. Thank you. So, at the end of the day, I'm curious to understand how I'm not in receipt. There's a guy that just walked into Starbucks with no shoes on. I have two people here who are homeless who need shoes. Someone come to Starbucks on North and Wells and drop off. What size shoes do you use? Two size pairs. 13 shoes, please. It's 39 degrees in Chicago. There is a man walking around with no shoes. He'll probably go back outside. He probably just needed to go potty. Did I? Did I like embarrassing? Like she's such a bitch. This is what I'm talking about. It made me so mad because for one, it's embarrassing. No one needs to be called out. You know what I'm saying? You all know. You know, maybe they have a pair of shoes. But for you to help, you you should help quietly, not on a live. And then you definitely should not have brought it up unless you were going to hand him a pair of shoes. Like, that's fucked up. You, like, got his hopes up. Like, it's like, oh, what would you like to eat? And then you just walk off. Like. He has no shoes or socks. It's freezing cold outside, in case you people haven't been outside today. And then I have a 
another person here who's wearing chanclas with soaking wet socks. And I don't even have any extra socks to give these people because someone stole all my socks out of my sleeping bag while I was asleep. Oh, how convenient. Um, let's get back to the point here. Yeah. While all hell has broken loose here on North Avenue and Wells, I am in desperate need of not only our apartment, which Xavier's father has promised to us a number of times and not delivered on, uh, but also an explanation combined with a police report for how for four years this situation... Okay, so I'm going to see, okay, so if he has done this a numerous times, what makes this time any different? Well, for four years, this situation has been con uh, permitted to perpetuate, to continue without any intervention or assistance from law enforcement or any sort of systemic intervention for that matter. Um, and I'll be here at Starbucks at North and Wells waiting uh, for that answer. Why does she think? She's going to get help from Xavier's dad getting an apartment if he has offered this numerous times before and hasn't delivered. I'm starting to wonder, because before it was like, yeah, I don't know if he was talking to Xavier because before Xavier was staying with him, so, you know, he, Xavier could always, he, he could just go back home. But then I'm starting to wonder, after all this crap, maybe he doesn't even want Xavier at the house anymore. So maybe he really was saying, look, Xavier, if you want to get out of this place, I will help you. But you need to find an apartment. You cannot come back home. You need to get your own apartment. And I don't know if there was rules. That, I don't know. He could have... This is just speculations, obviously. You could have said, I'm only, I'm not helping, though, if you have Heather or something. You never know. You never fucking know. But I'm sure he, it wouldn't surprise me if he started to get to the point where he was uncomfortable to even have it and his own son at his own house because he doesn't know what Xavier's been doing and then he doesn't want Heather to go crazy and attack him. He probably just wants Heather out of his life or just to leave him alone. Like, no more trouble. He doesn't have to. It's a lot of stress, man. Get tired of waiting and get the feeling back in my toes because my feet are also soaking wet. I don't have any shoes. I'm just wearing some cloth uh, Nikes that are also soaking wet. Um, so when I thaw out a bit and get some motivation to go walk to the laundry mat, then that's what I'll do. that would make sense. What would make you people happy? Does it make you happy to leave people trapped outside with no food or money? It would honestly make me happy if you gave us the news and you shut down your social media and you went to go get help. That, that, that would be awesome. Does that make you happy? Then I think you should evaluate yourself. If that doesn't make you happy, how can we resolve these situations? Please. I'm waiting. DM is open. The comments are open. Let us know. The comments are never open. Good day. This is Henrietta Jones. I found your number on the open adoption page for Chicago. Have you found a family yet? I have an interesting couple willing to pay $50,000. No paperwork. And then Heather says, fuck you, disgusting human trafficker. I'm turning you into the feds. As a human trafficker, you disgusting POS. If God wanted a couple to be blessed with a child, they wouldn't need to pay 50000 on the black market for one. Lose this number and revalue your entire existence. You're disgusting POS. Okay, first of all, let me say, how does she know this was a black market? You know what I'm saying? Like as she knows a little bit too much about it. We've already seen it in her tabs last time with the twins. And then, what did she say that made me mad? Oh, yeah. If God wanted a couple to be blessed with a child, they wouldn't need to pay $50,000. Like, that makes me so angry because everybody's so different. And then I can just sit around and say, I don't understand why God is letting you get pregnant. Like, he keeps on blessing you with children. And look what you're doing with the blessings of children. 
Like, it, it could go both ways. And then you're not even going to be able to keep this one. Okay, so... I This is so ridiculous. Where are you going for Christmas, Heather? Like, this is what you're doing. If I ever go missing, check all the Target locations. I'm sure you'll find me. Yeah, hardy har hard. Like, you're, that's so ridiculous. Like, I'm so... Why are you even there? Like, even I know better, and I have a house and a car and a job and everything like that, and I know not to take my ass to Target unless... Like, why are, what are, you, why are, you, what are you doing? Unless you're, like, stealing stuff. What are you doing? I don't... I, I've never been a good window shopper, like... I feel like I need to treat myself to something if I go. That's a lot of discipline. And then I end up getting my kids a whole bunch of stuff. And then I get, like, not my nothing. <laughs> but why is she? You're so cold in your tent. Your tent's so messed up. There's all these problems going on. But here you are in Target fitting room wearing a fucking dress. Without a damn bra, may I add. You need to put on a bra and brush your hair, please. Okay, so I might be contracting. We oh. went to Starbucks all morning. Shit, hell no. And look, it's actually kind of cute. I don't know if that's a dress or if it's like a two-piece. So they've been at Starbucks all morning. Now they're, she's trying on stuff at Target and she thinks she's contracting. When's her due date? February 5th, was it February 14th? I think it was Valentine's Day. Where are we at? Oh my gosh, we just got in December. Girl, you better hope you ain't doing it that early. Um, I am not feeling well. So I'm feeling very heavy, very, very pregnant. And I'm getting a lot of tightness and pain in my lower abdomen. Um, but we have to get laundry done because all of our blankets... Yeah, and it's probably Braxton Hicks. But you should have got the motherfucking rooms, did, shouldn't you? All that, everybody who's, like, trying to bless you with the fucking bed, a mattress, covers, a heat, a, a warm room for you to stay in for for weeks, almost a month, and you sitting here denying it. You wish, you wish you had that now, huh, Heather? It's our soak, so we came to Target to get Tide Pods, and I decided to try on this outfit to make myself feel more socially acceptable. How? So I feel a little... How does that make you feel socially... You're in a fitting room. A little bit better, except that I feel ginormous. This is a size me. Someone's behind her. That is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, we're about to see her legs. Oh my gosh. Look, you can already see her socks. I wish she would stop wearing socks, but I know it's cold outside. But see, if she was in a hotel room, she wouldn't have to wear socks. Like, it's cutting off her pressure. And I know she's a... No offense, obviously, I'm getting tired of fucking even saying that, but there's new people, so I don't want them to think I'm, like, body shaming her. But I know she's, like, a taller, bigger, thicker girl, so her body's shaped differently, but that is not normal. Everybody knows that's not normal. Like, it's the fluid retention, it's not good. And for her to wear tight socks for so long, you can fucking see the indents. And it's even worse now that she's pregnant. She was having this problem before she was even pregnant. Yeah. Oh gosh. You can see her nipple. <laughs> Girl, put a bra on. What happened to your bras? I'm huge, dude. This is insane. My legs are so big, I'm huge. <laughs> This outfit is adorable. It's a size medium in the Isabel brand. I love it. Wish I wasn't living in a tent so I could wear things like this. Oh my gosh, those nails. <laughs> Probably makes up for about twenty percent or less of the abuse and corruption that I go through. They're now not allowing select text messages to go through my mom, the father of my youngest child, Alexis. 
is her father Orlando, uh, his mom, uh, some lady that we just met this morning that's a realtor with Redfin. Oh. On top of that, they're sending me a bunch of abortion and adoption rhetoric, knowing that I just lost twins and that I have no intention to give up my baby, any of my children, ever. Um, but you were. They're sending me shit about being trans. I'm not trans. I'm a woman. I've given birth three times and I'm about to do it again. Blatant disregard for the law in this country that says that we cannot lock our citizens outside of shelter or food or employment. Nobody gives a fuck. This isn't an experiment anymore, you know, where I could write it off in my head. Oh, they're doing, you know, social experiments and seeing how people handle things. Maybe it's to exonerate people who have been homeless before that they've been forcing into fucked up positions. This is the fourth year that I've been being oppressed out of any sort of income. And I'm not talking donations. I'm talking about I create an idea, launch a store, build a website, and then when I click publish, they don't allow it to publish. I'm talking about I find a safe spot stashed away from everyone, and fake police come in and throw me out, me out of my own spot that I have legal right to be in. I'm talking about being raped, being robbed, going and replacing all the items that were just robbed from me. I'm not talking money. They don't steal my money anymore. They try, you know, but I, I rarely have more than, more than a couple dollars. And most of the people who steal money know that I have children and now they steer clear and they don't do me like that. But they've stolen everything from me. I mean, I can't even fucking buy myself a pack of socks and still have it. I need compression socks so I don't get blood clots. Every pair is gone out of my belongings. Six pairs of compression socks I bought a week ago. This, what I've just described in these last three messages, this is one week of harassment. Plus about 60 to 100 voicemails telling me to kill myself and that I'm a fat, ugly pig. Not a pig. Never been a pig. Not a cop. Never been a cop. You got the wrong girl. And then it's like I said, if I was a dumb bitch who, you know, didn't put myself through all of this schooling and education and prepare myself for... I'm surprised she didn't just go live. So many different life outcomes than fun. You know, call me the dumb bitch that I am and hold me accountable. I hustled my ass off as a single mother at 18 years old, putting myself through college. All legal jobs. I didn't go to strip clubs. I wasn't selling, I wasn't selling drugs. I wasn't even in the, the game of sex work or the sexual entertainment industry until I was 28 years old years old and I was human trafficked, groomed and coerced by a man. What the fuck is wrong with you people? And it's like I told you people before, I'm not under any obligation to do shit. Nothing. I voluntarily have allowed about 30 different doctors to evaluate me so that you would shut the fuck up. And every one of them sided with me and said, not only is she strong and intelligent and capable, she's not crazy at all. And in, under <laughs> similar circumstances, most people would not survive. Where the fuck is my plaque or reward money or some shit? Why am I being pursued as a rape victim? Like, who are these people that get off on having sex with women who don't want to fuck with them? Why am I being pursued for my socks? Like, what the fuck is going on? And then I call 911. 911. I'm calling 911. I'm trying to hear what's in the background, but she won't stop talking. Like, is it closing time somewhere? <laughs> closing time. <laughs> oh, she's pissed. Okay, I really need you to stop calling 911 though. Seriously, unless it's like an absolute emergency, don't don't call 911. Every single time I call 311, that is felony, class X felony, obstruction of justice to prevent someone from calling 911. And I'm calling. 
but it's also um what is it um it's almost kind of the same thing where but they could charge her for calling like interfering pretty much like they could call her for calling and for no reason pretty much 911 and they're obstructing my fucking calls and telling me I don't know what the laws are about people being locked outside in the winter. What the fuck do you mean you don't know? I'll tell you. Do you have a text message number where I can send you a direct link? What the fuck? This is... Did she just kill a bug? <laughs> Was she just so blind? City officials giving this information to me. I'm tired, bro. I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy. My hips feel like they're popping out of their fucking sockets. I'm tired. <laughs> and I got nothing but hatred. <laughs> Could y'all imagine if that this was life? Oh my gosh, she would have went off. She's having it. She's have. She is aggravated. Oh, she is aggravated. Look, you didn't go to sleep, brother. It's too late. Coming through my line. Fucking evil, nasty shit. People using my name to cancel my doctor's appointments and reschedule them for other times and days. It, that that that's not cool. That's not cool. Can you at least think about the baby for that? That's fucked up. That's I mean, come on. That's <laughs> Let me not. Without even asking me. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Then I get approached this morning by someone with from Redfin, and she hands me a $100 bill. And I feel like crying. Why the fuck am I feeling like crying over a $100? Why the fuck have I been so... Wow. Tis the time of year. <laughs> Someone must have felt jolly that day. Wow, Heather, you were blessed. You were act you were so blessed. I wonder what she did with that money. Wow, that's crazy. Pressed out of money that a hundred dollars is enough to make me cry. Yeah, it's great to feel gratitude, but what the fuck? I'm not a dummy. I'm not a dummy, see? Look, she wasn't even grateful for that. Like she's like yeah, don't get it twisted. I appreciate the hundred, like, thanks, but <laughs> where's the other million? I have a college education. Without the college education, I'm a fucking boss, bro. I know how to sell shit. I know how to make shit work. I know how to build shit. I know how to earn money. I don't deserve to fucking sleep in a stairwell or a fucking tent in 20 to... And then I try to text... <laughs> It's so funny because I guess she she keeps talking and I guess it goes off on its own. <laughs> and she doesn't, it takes her a minute to realize it. Oh, uh, why did she not go live? Because this is a lot. She's She is sure is venting through these stories. <laughs> Lady, oh, thank you so much. She's a real estate agent. She wants to help us get an apartment. Xavier's father supposedly says he's going to pay a thousand a month towards our rent, right? And I fucking text this lady, this real estate agent, and look it, I'm gonna post right here. This is what they said. Message not sent. Why, Google? What's your fucking problem? What is going on? One second I'm being accused of getting Botox in the tent and my forehead is so on point, you can't even hear. <laughs> She just said my forehead is so on point. I cannot make a wrinkle if you paid me. And the next second, I have three horizontal lines going, or vertical lines going like this, and they're calling me the mark of the beast. Oh my God. And the next day, those lines are gone, and there's two deep lines in the center of my forehead. What the fuck is going on? And then on top of that, they're telling me that... And then on top of that... Oh, man, this is a good time. Okay. 
that I'm, quote, in the game, whatever that means. I don't do any fucking crimes. I'm barely surviving at this point. I'm fully capable of not only surviving, but thriving. Taking care of myself and three children as I have. She's like, I'm fucking thriving right now. I'm a thriver. I'm thriving the fuck out of this. Their entire lives. But let's not even pay attention to that. Now they want me to work free. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so from the tent where you keep me in 20 degrees, let me just start writing ad copy for all these hoes and helping people with their businesses. Like, I haven't already been doing that for the past six to ten years. When is it my turn to actually be able to support myself? What the fuck is going on in this fucked up ass thing? But we'll just be grateful. Thank you, God, that my toes and fingers are still on my limbs when it's 20 degrees outside and I start going numb at 40. Thank you, God, that I have been able to remain in communication with my two older kids, even though it literally kills me a little every single day since the last time I spoke with my youngest and I haven't been able to speak with her. Thank you, God, that I'm carrying this pregnancy to full term rather than you taking these baby, this baby from me how you did the twins at 18 weeks. Thank you, God, for all of the... I, I'm struggling here, you guys. There are days I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy going with a half of a meal all day and no water, nothing to drink. And when I try... Okay, <clears throat> anyways, I can't, like, blah, 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 blah. like, I can't even listen, like, I can't even listen to her pray because it's so condescending, like, she's just a bitch, like, she's pretty, like, she's acting like she shouldn't be grateful for anything, like, what is there to be grateful for? Like, Heather, you could always have it worse, are you kidding me? You literally just sat there and said someone handed you a hundred freaking dollars. And then you get money every freaking month from the government. You get donations, Lord knows how often. Like, it seems like quite a bit for anything and everything. You don't have water. That's strange that you spend money on jackets and face masks and all this crazy shit, but not on water. I don't believe it. Not on, not, no sob story today. I get up and move. They won't allow me to get up and move. What the fuck is going on? But it's like I told that lady from this morning, Jessica. Jessica. So I was gay, Jessica. What? I'm not a tremendously faithful person. It's difficult for me to keep hope. Literally at this point, hope is all I have left. And I've tried everything and then some. And it reminds me of the mustard seed. You guys know the story of the mustard seed? And now this is how I have to sleep. With no blankets because they're all soaked. This is nothing but tarp. All of our sleeping bags and pillows are soaked. Pillows are trash. Sleeping bags are literally carrying probably 30 to 20 pounds of water. I've been contracting on and off all night. I'm freezing. And, um, trying to remember the mustard seed. 